time is weird, isn't it? You cannot see it, hold it or stop it, but it's everywhere, ticking along and pushing everything forward. In physics, we usually think of time as the fourth dimension, a kind of companion to the three dimensions of space. But what if time is not just one dimension among many? What if it weaves through every dimension, from the simplest point to the mind-bending eleventh? Let's break it down. We will explore why time is called the fourth dimension, how it works with space and what it could mean for the fabric of reality. So let's first discuss why time is called the fourth dimension. To start, imagine a basic roadmap of dimensions. Zeroth dimension is a point, no length, no height, just a location. 1D is a line with length but no width or depth. 2D is a flat plane like a piece of paper with length and width. And the third dimension is the world around us, objects with length, width and height. Then we have time as the fourth dimension, making up space-time when combined with the three special dimensions. Albert Einstein changed the game with his theory of relativity, showing that time is not separate from space, instead they are intertwined. According to relativity, time and space bend and curve together, making time an essential part of how our universe works. In this view, time's role is simple. It's a fourth dimension that lets things move, change and grow. We can measure it and it gives a sense of when events happen in relation to each other. But there is more to time than just being a fourth step in a sequence. So, is time truly a separate dimension? Here is where it gets interesting. Time behaves differently than the other dimensions. We can move left and right, up and down in a space. But what about time? It's always moving forward. You cannot turn around or reverse your position in time like you can in a space. At least, not yet. This unidirectional flow makes time unique. Many scientists argue that time is not exactly like length, width or height. Instead, it might be a kind of universal glue linking all dimensions together. Whether you are in one dimension or eleventh, time ticks on affecting everything equally. Think of it as a thread woven through the entire fabric of reality. Friends, when scientists delve into the mysteries of higher dimensions, a string theory proposes up to 11 dimensions. Time becomes even stranger. If there are dimensions beyond the fourth, does time stretch through them too? Some theories say yes. These extra dimensions might be curled up so small we cannot see them, but time could still run through them. Other interpretations suggest that if higher dimensions exist, they might bring new versions of time multiple timelines or even different flows of time. Imagine a reality with side-by-side -side pasts and futures. Mind-blowing, right? So can time exist on its own? This idea gets even wilder with the concept of the block universe. Think of it like a solid block of space-time where every single moment, past, present and future exists all at once. In this model, time doesn't flow. Instead, we move through time, experiencing each slice in a sequence like frames in a movie reel. If time exists in every dimension of this block universe, does it even need space to make sense? Could we have pure time without length, width or height? Right now, it's just theory, but it raises an exciting thought Maybe time is not just one more layer. It could be the hidden framework of reality itself. Friends, philosophers love to dive into time's mysteries too. Our experience of time is super linear, past, present and future, one step after another. But some Eastern philosophies view time as cyclical, constantly repeating, while Western science often sees it as a one-way street. So, is our sense of time real or are we just wired to think it flows a certain way? 
If other dimensions exist, it's possible beings in higher dimensions experience time totally differently. Maybe they can see all of history and the future in one glance. It's a humbling reminder that our understanding of time might be shaped more by our brains than by reality. So is time simply the fourth dimension or is it something deeper, a constant that binds all dimensions? The answer might be both. Time is central to our understanding of the universe and the flow of events. But it could be more than just the fourth in the line. It might be the very thread holding everything together. One thing is for sure. Time is one of the most mysterious forces in existence. It touches every dimension, drives every change, and keeps us grounded in our understanding of reality. Whether it's bound to one dimension or present in them all, time keeps us fascinated forever moving forward, one second at a time. Thank you for watching. And for more such videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Engineering Made Easy.